Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be going over how to assemble these V2 race heads that I always use on my builds. I get a lot of questions of people asking me, are they actually worth it? Do they make a power difference? And can you do it if you're not going to use the big bore kit like me? And the answer to all those questions is yes, definitely worth it. Make way more power than the stock head because it's got bigger intake valves or a bigger intake valve, bigger exhaust valve, and it also has the roller rocker design, which is nice. You can't see those under here, but on the new head that I'm assembling in just a second, you'll be able to see all that. And I'm going to show you how to install it the correct way. I'd say the hardest part is um, just knowing which way the camshaft that goes, the orientation of the cam. But other than that, pretty straightforward. You're going to want to torque your head studs back to 16 foot pounds. That's what I always do, never had a problem. And then two things to keep in mind, guys, when you're doing this. If it's going on a YX bottom end, you're going to want to make sure you get this intake manifold. Uh, right here, this is the TB Parts V2 head intake manifold for Chinese engines. See how it's slanted like that? Most of the YX motors have the KLX, or sorry, not the KLX, but the CRF port, which is flat. That one's slanted. And then one other thing to keep in mind is you're going to be having to run a KLX exhaust because it has KLX port as well. Obviously the head's made for KLX 110s as well. So that's why they have that there. But you got the 8mm studs over the 6mm studs. Um, and then you got the slanted intake manifold compared to the flat intake manifold. That's pretty much it. Pretty easy. Just keep in mind you need to do that probably gonna have to change your exhaust around if you're doing it on like one of the SSR TX models or the TR models but definitely best bang for your buck in this head I'm running the five the optional 577 camshaft there's two cams that they have one is recommended for anything over 160 cc's and then the other one is probably good for like if you're going 143 KLX engine which you'd want more torque for and less top end but this may, um, motor makes tons of torque so I'm basically always wide open on the thing anyway so that's why I choose that 577 camshaft running a 28 millimeter carburetor on this but enough talking let me get right into the assembly video hope this helps some of you guys and uh, if it does don't forget leave a comment drop a like really appreciate it helps the channel grow so I can do more cool videos for you guys want to use something like assembly lube this is what I always use you could use oil but you definitely want to make sure that you lube this thing up and you put it into the head so that nothing no galling or scratching occurs on the camshaft and then these I just set those in the hand tight all the way loose for now until you do your valve adjustment same thing here put a bunch of that either oil on here or the assembly lube like I have and then I always use the high strength Loctite because that still breaks free like pe some people think you use this it'll never come off but that's not true I use it on everything like instead of using medium I have the medium but that stuff doesn't really work that good so we use this the longevity so let's go ahead and uh, get that cam in there I'm gonna put a little bit more Lucas oil on the camshaft I already did inside the head put a bunch there just want to show you guys exactly how I do it you don't gotta go crazy with it, just a uh, little dabby do in each spot. Obviously, you gotta open the thing up. What am I doing over here? Alright, so I got the uh, assembly lube on here. I'm gonna make a mess all over my hands, but that's okay. You're just gonna make sure you put it everywhere. This stuff blends right into the. I'm sure you can see that blends right into oil, no problem. Like. This stuff's good. It's the good stuff. And then a little bit inside the head won't hurt. Down in there. And then see this mark on the front of it? That B mark is the top dead center. So you want to face that forward. There's going to be that little mark on the head. And you can just drop this. Not literally drop it in, but carefully slide it into place. should fit right in boom just like that nice and even next step is gonna be check make sure that things up in there all the way next step will be to 
put the roller rockers in, put a whole bunch on there and on the inside, just everywhere. Set the head on the side. And then same with the keepers. Lube those up good, just like that. Ton of it on there. And then see these pieces? Obviously that's where the that sits on there, so. You're gonna wanna put this in sometimes as a pain, but I usually just do this before, make sure it slides in there good. And then you're gonna wanna line it up. Pretty simple here. There it is. Boom, see now it slides right in. Just like that. All the way, push it flush all the way down. You're gonna have to clock it a little bit to make sure you put the other piece in, it's in the right spot. Yep. And like I said, you can leave that loose, but that's how it should look, just like that. Careful your cam doesn't slide out. And then flip it upside down, do the same thing on this side, obviously. Boom. Can never hurt to have too much on it, that's for sure. Same thing here. Like I said, if you don't have the assembly lube, you can always use the oil. Just put a bunch of it on there, like as much as you can, honestly. Same thing on this side. Just hold that thing even where it needs to be. And then try to line it up. Boom, just like that. So that's it. Heads assembled. Now we'll just put the retainer on there. So that looks there. See, I said I kept them loose for now until I do the valve adjustment. But the next step here will be. There's the piece right there. Okay. Put this piece on. Now you see what I'm talking about how each one of these has to just be facing a certain way. It can only go on one way, honestly. So you really can't mess that up. Now I already put the red Loctite on the little Allen bolts. Looks like they changed up these the last head I built. I don't think they came with the button heads like these, so these are nice. Get it started. Red lock. Nice and tight. There it is. She's fully assembled. Oh, not yet. One more piece. So I'm going to, the short side goes into the head. Boom. I'm going to thread these in hand tight. And uh, after, before I put the exhaust on, I'll put two nuts on here, lock them up tight to each other, and then thread them in to the head as tight as they go. So just don't forget to do that. And uh, that's it. Let's get this head thrown on the 160cc here, and then we'll do a valve adjustment. Get that thing put into the bike, put her together, and see how she sounds. Should be sick. This is always a really good upgrade for these engines right here, even the KLX 110 engines. Roll the rocket design, bigger valves. So, she's going to be a ripper. All right, tighten these all down. 16 foot-pounds. Click there. Click there. One there. That's it. All tightened down. Tight, tight. Everything's tight, tight. You're gonna do the valve adjustment at the end. One other thing I'd like to show you guys is this little tool right here for when you go to do your valve adjustment. That's the part number. I suggest getting one of these. Makes uh, doing valve adjustment a lot easier and more precise. You can hold this and then still turn this. Obviously, it goes right through. So that will hold the tap it and then you know you can tighten it with this and then hold it still so it makes it a lot easier. Highly recommend this little tool right here. So you can hold this part and then still move that part. And then on the, the specs that I use for these heads is 0 .003 on the intake manifold and then you got 0 .004 on the exhaust manifold. 
So those are the specs I run, and I usually check mine every like five to seven hours. Uh, it definitely doesn't hurt to check them sooner than later because once if they did loosen up or something like that, you would start losing power, and then eventually the thing would be super hard to start if they got that loosed. And so yeah, hope that helped you guys. Like I said earlier, like this video, drop a comment, and consider sharing it to a friend. And if you aren't already subscribed, just hit that subscribe button. It's just right there. Go ahead and tap that subscribe button. Until the next video, guys. Hope to see you.